Right. Yeah. Back on. Um, yeah. Me and George. Uh, me and George, the big dog TNA, we're actually talking for half an hour, and uh, apparently commentary aren't even working. So absolutely fantastic. I'm just looking around for the big dog to try and get him back in. Uh, I just uh, gave him a quick ring, see if, see if he's going to get back in the box. Just calling him now, people. So it's a six four to Lewis. Obviously, I've commented commentated up most of the game, but you've not been able to hear thing what I said. So I actually left and Lee Kendall dragged me back in, saying that I need to commentate. So hopefully, he's going to find the big dog. Otherwise, it's pretty pointless, but he's not answering my phone call. Just looking around, I can't even actually see him. Jesus Christ. So I want to give a quick shout out to all my sponsors, Jano MOT Centre, Murphy Sports Bar, uh, Alan Mason, Mason, Mason Carpet, Right and Beds. I hope I've got that right because I keep forgetting what it actually is. Anybody needs any work on the car doing? Go to see my mum and David Glynn. David Glynn. Channel MOT Centre. Uh, I don't actually know where George Tien is gone. I'm guessing he's uh, gone to McDonald's or KFC. So, big breath from Lewis here uh, from Jeria. Uh, just need a ball marking to get rid of the rack. Hopefully you can only hear me out there. I'm not talking to myself again. So I'm just going to check now, see if I'm talking to myself and I'm off. This video has... Oh, that's the last game. Let me just uh, make sure that's actually working. Chat. Should be six five here after that break. Can anybody actually hear me? Just confirm that you can hear me. If can't hear me, then I'm getting off. Yeah, we need to get somebody else in this comments box. Uh, Craig Lake or George Tierney. Somebody, please help me out. We can hear you, Seb. Nice one, William Carter. Yeah. So wasted 30 minutes earlier just talking to myself. Me and George, boy, we had some proper good crack as well. It would have been nice for you last to listen to it. Obviously, Beer Productions have decided uh, to turn all the whatever's off, microphones, etc. So, fantastic. But if anybody's listening that can get in touch with George Tierney or Lee Kendall even to get somebody else in commentary box, I don't want to be really talking to myself. Oh, for God's sake. Stephen Mitz is uh, talking garbage there, I'm guessing. Fellow uh, piss ball a little bit I think uh, be interested to see what Jay does to get on uh, this ready actually oh obviously Black was in middle pocket I was thinking he was going to take uh, Black into corner pocket with a big bag but obviously it goes into middle bag easy enough Clear, nice one. Uh, yeah, 6 5. Eagle Eye back in the building. 
think he's finally woke up and realised he's in a match here. There ain't no easy games in this arena, people. You've got to be on it from the start, or you're going to get done. And we're just having a gander at the scores on the outside tables. Mark Farnsworth trailing Sam Burton by four frames to two. Uh, Jack Whelan leads Jordan Shepard four frames to one. Rob Chilton leads Ben Davis three frames to two. Some big matches going off here. Uh, Ronan McCarthy leads, oh sorry, trails Phil Harrison one frame to nil. Darren Appleton, Steve Rowling, Declan Brennan, 6 1. Uh, Liam Dunster against Rob Warren, it's 3 1 to Liam. Oh, now then, Eagle Eye. He's got a chance to level the scores up. James, James Humphreys, Jenks, the legend. Good crack yesterday, mate. We had him boxed, didn't we? Uh, Jenks, the main man. I'll be seeing him again shortly, no doubt. And 26 from here. At Murphy's Sports Bar for the big game. The Jenks Meister. I wonder where Tierney's gone. He's got to be knocking about somewhere, man. He can't go too far. It's just, it'd be a nice treat for the people watching, do you know what I mean? Oh, he's had a nice result here, yeah. He's landed on his bad and he's just got to think about what he's doing with Black now, so. Gotta be careful with these, you gotta treat them with a bit of care. Yeah, I love the shot. He's real it looks like he's really zoned in now. Probably just run round off two. Oh, he's come back, try getting back through gap. Probably right shot because it's hard to judge with these uh, these brand new cloth and these brand new cushions. Sure about this. I think he's. I think he's took these wrong way. Obviously, he's going to be left way tricky black. Which way he played, man. Personally, thought he might have really gone a different way, but Jason backs his potting up uh, every single time. To be fair, so he probably thinks as long as I got a shot of black, I'm going to make it from wherever white is. It doesn't matter. Don't call him eagle eye for nothing. And it looks like he's got the eagle eye absolutely tuned in at minute. He's really starting to turn it on. Really disappointing that I can't get nobody to come commentate with me. Absolutely. Fuming about this, to be honest. What kind of setup is it, man? <coughs> the old Colombian cold started to tick in, uh, kick in, sorry. Is it? Yeah, me and George were actually discussing the third match when we were in commentary box. Uh, obviously, y'all couldn't hear us, so you ain't to know what got said. But pretty, pretty much, George just said that he needs to lose four stone, win a load of money matches, and then we might have decided. But I'm uh, not going to hold my breath with that one, to be honest. 
Yeah, I don't actually know Louis Calcutt is. Uh, obviously, I know his name, but I've never actually seen him play. Uh, he looks a good player. Do you know what I mean? He, he looks a really good player, so. He's played this nice. Just got a big bounce there. Seb Grope, you wish them that boring, really. Yeah, David Hunt. I've not seen that name for a while, pal, in the whole world. You know, you're keeping all right. I used to see you at a few events that I turned up to, but I don't know if you've packed in playing or what, pal. Uh, hope you're well. Nice chance for Jason here to get a 7 6 in front and uh, take control. Well, he's going to try to take control. It's, this is not an easy shot, you know. It looks a bit thin. It's whether he can bridge it or it can he just queue past it. I'm not sure. Now he's going to have to bridge up and, uh, and maybe just try drag the white. Yeah. And look where it, look where his white. Just look where that white hit there. It actually <laughs> before he played the shot. If you if you notice, Jason put his finger on cushion. He, he put it bang ball line, and that's where white ball hit. So. Oh, great shot that one. Unbelievable shot, to be fair. Especially to get the angles right like he did. He don't care about leaving the centre longish, toughish black. That Well, they're tough to normal people, obviously, but Jay's uh, one of the best potters in any Q spots, so he backs his centre all the time. But he'd probably like to get a little bit easier. some big games going on in this arena and I'll tell you that now lads I'm still trying to convince uh, Lee Kendall to get the boxing on tonight I'll tell you something now he's as tight as a maggot's ass in a sandstorm that bloke do you know what I mean come on he's, he's close honestly it's absolutely packed out in this club you can't you can't really move and uh, 275 quid to get David A against Bell you want to resist He's like, he's moaning about it. I'm like, well, look, Kenny, you've got to get it on. Get a public what they want. It's good people. They want to watch boxing later on, man. And he's, uh, to be, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's going to try and get people to pay a five or a piece, but in my opinion, he should just put it on. If you want events at these like at your clubs, you're going to go out of your way a bit. It's only 275 quid. He's going to make it back off at bar. If you don't put boxing on, a lot of these people might just go elsewhere to watch it. And uh, does he want to risk that? When Jay played pre-2010, was like a young Seb Webb. Uh, yeah, I grew up with Jason when we were playing at the same time, to be fair. And uh, I, I can't, I don't know what age Jason is, actually. I think he's 27, 28-ish. I, I always had a couple of years on him, I seem to remember. Uh, when we were youngsters, we obviously used to knock about a bit, and uh, him and his uh, dad, my dad, my dad, they're always good mates, and, that, and uh, we, we used to, when we were nippers, we actually played in middle of uh, Middleton. We weren't even playing in North, I don't think it was men's and that, but everybody wanted to see us play because we were best players, well, best young players, should I say, at that time. And we had a five or one frame shootout, and it was absolutely packed, and he ended up beating me in it. And uh, I've, uh, I've gone to achieve nothing, and he's gone to, to achieve everything. It's all about commitment, isn't it? Yeah, you can, of course, it's, uh, yeah, 28, 29 is, yeah. I always had a, I'm like 32, so I've always had a couple of years on him, but it, when we were, like, back then, I, I was actually a better player than Jay. But he, he were, you could tell he was going to be some player. But basically, I'd, uh, I just enjoy the drink. Uh, enjoyed the drugs for a few years, do you know what I mean? We all take different roles, don't we? I think I go for every pool player out there, to be fair, when I say that. They all just, as soon as you get a smell of that uh, pussy, let's say. Do you know what I mean, lads? You know what I mean, but as soon as you get a smell of alcohol, as soon as you go into that toilet and you get your first line of Bronson. You, 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 you have a different look on life all of a sudden. You don't want to be itching balls in pool arenas for uh, four hours a day. Do you know what I mean? 
you, you go down different routes. Uh, that's not the right shot what he's just been trying to play. He's got to play the start right out. He'll, he'll pop this because the buckets are playing quite generous. So he's just gone a little bit far where he might have to get queue up in area. And he's played that nice. Played it really nice. He needed this dish. This is a very timely dish because Jay will just uh, gain into a bit of a roll and he won't miss it nothing. So this is a good response from Lewis. So that's a uh, seven apiece. I think it's going to come down to now who's uh, if you notice, uh, with these these racks, they are actually really good, but just a pain in the to set up, basically. You are wasting a few seconds actually doing it. Not seconds, like, it does add up. If you obviously got a triangle, just throw them in, push them up tight, boom, you're done. But these, you've actually got to put them in. It, does, it is a bit of a... For people like me, I anyway, don't like it, to be honest. But I, I, don't, I don't like the rack, I just don't like... Having to push balls up and get, make sure there's little holes that they're supposed to be in and stuff. I'm impatient at the best of times. Sorry about that, lads. Uh, just struggling with Colombian cold again. Uh, <clears throat> big Brett required, I think. Well, every Brett's big, to be honest. I mean, look, he's controlled the white absolutely beautiful there. They're the Brecks that you want. And he, listen, he's going to take yellows and he's going to mop these up in next to no time, I would imagine. Uh, that was just an absolute perfect break. There's no triangles in this arena, Graham. So, not that I've seen anywhere. There's no, there's actually no triangles in the arena at all. I'm guessing it would work, but I haven't actually seen a triangle in this arena. I think he's pretty much straight on this, so he might have wrong angle, so... Yeah, he just had to try and pinch a bit, but he's, uh, he's not played a good shot. He's obviously tried to play the side, and he's, he's caught knuckle at pocket, so it's just took all the side off, basically. And he hasn't actually got a pot on. Wow. This could be a big point in the match, is I just can't see a pot. I don't... Not sure what, not sure what shot it is here, people. Uh, he, may, he might have to try a uh, cross double here. Cross double into the left middle pocket on your screen. Oh, he's nailed it. It's a great shot. Just needs a little bit of luck to find a gap, and he's got it. Oh, he's landed plumb, to be fair, on top pocket. Great shot. Bit of vision there. Watching it back on my screen here, I can't. My, my screen's a bit delayed to yours on my phone, so. Let's see what happened here. It's not if he jumped up or what happened here. Not in any contact. I just, I don't know, it just seemed a little bit heavy, I'm not sure. Just, uh, wow. Can't quite believe what I've just seen there, I'm mean, just in shock. This is a big, big chance for Lewis now, obviously. Just been joined in the commentary box. See, so. Yes, uh, here we go. Seven, uh, seven apiece, big miss. It was a big mess, indeed. Didn't expect him to miss it. Obviously, I'm tipping Lewis is a good mate of yours. He is. Yeah. He is, obviously, yeah. Uh, obviously, he seems to be playing pretty well. Yeah. Very uh, good curious. Yeah. yeah, he looks... Uh, he's not missed much, has he, at all, to be honest. And, uh, he's, I mean, he's absolutely buzzing inside to see uh, Jay miss that uh, 
pretty straightforward put off the gate double. Yeah, that was like a wild shot. I think this is not a good shot, you know. He's, uh, he's landed awkward here, I think. Can he, can he, he needs to drop it in dead weight, mm. you know. But this cushion, this cushion could slide. Oh, he's played into it. Oh. No, I don't, I don't, I don't like that shot. He's got a tough pot on the top left. Yeah, this is ah, it's pretty much... Ah, it's tough, that. Really tough. It's, I mean, it's getting to a point, does he actually go for it? It's one of them really, isn't it? You know. Oh, does he? Yeah. Well, he's going. It looks like he's going for it. Tough shot. That's call it. Oh, it's tough, but as he's no, oh, he's got no run. He's, uh, oh, nah. He's, he's, he's going to be fuming there. To be fair, he had a great opportunity, didn't he? He did, mate. Yeah. But it's, it's a big moment for this. I don't. Uh, I don't know this guy, Lewis. But God, it's a big moment playing somebody a Jason Chase, uh, Jason Shaw statue in the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, massive. It's not easy for him. He's, Played awesome so far. And like I said, like a lot of people probably think, all right, sure, he'll probably win, probably massively, you know, like 11 yeah. 4 or something. Well, that's exactly. And that's he's giving him a good game, so. He had a good chance to go 8 7. It looks like he's hurting a little bit, but it's not easy on you. No disrespect to all players in here, but Jason Shaw's probably the biggest name in this arena, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, a, it's known worldwide, so if it, a, a victory like this would be massive for Lewis, probably. Absolutely huge. And it's, uh, so it's big pressure on his shoulders. But he has handled it pretty well so far. He's just he just he j just like seems like um, he always oh, missed a couple of balls, but the guy's a freak with his break. Yeah, his break's immense. I mean, I don't think he's had a dry break yet, has he? Obviously, he wants to, he wants a dish here, doesn't he? Yeah. He wants to forget that miss a ASAP. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Chris Mellon's just been called out as it happens. Uh, I think he's playing on one stream table. Millen's sure. got um, Washy. Yeah, he's playing Lee Washbrook. I'm not sure if it's on stream table or not. Uh, he has been called out though. But the way he played against me, then good luck whoever beats him <laughs> in this event. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, the guy's a freak, as Rusty Wheeler would say. Eagle Eye just sticking the tongue out. I think he's a bit moved to be back in front there. <laughs> the Eagle Eye. Yeah, so and, um, we had some good bad to a jail last night. So a bit, bit ground, bit, uh, bit of um, background on um, Lewis. What I can say because he's like a friend of mine. Um, plays for Oxfordshire, obviously 18. Um, he's just made it into England. Played awesome in his trials. What, what's like, what's this world rules? Is it league? world rules? Ah, yeah, yeah. It's world rules. There well, you he's, go. He's got another big record in it. He's really. Do you know what? Right. He's actually really improved his break because yeah. beforehand. He just went down and didn't time it. It's all timing. Yeah, of course and it is, yeah. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. It's all about timing on the break. And at this standard of level, Seb, I think, you know, it is about the break. If you have oh. a dry break, you, it's pretty much saying next round, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. I mean, so. at this level, the break is the biggest shot in the game. Yeah, without doubt. You've got to, just looking at Melly's actually losing to Lee Washbrook 1 0. Wow. <laughs> I'm saying yeah. wow, see, it, it's not like Chris to be losing, it, but you'd still expect him to come back and win, wouldn't you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd say about 11-4. But you, Washi can surprise people, you know, people write him off and they, obviously his Q action, that's what, I think that's what they go on, they try and write him off with his Q action, but he's actually a really good player. He's got like um, an Alex Higgins Q action, isn't he, really? He's a bit all over, all over the show, but they're going pockets, do you know what I mean? You, you, think, my, you think his is all over the show, my, my Q action's ridiculous. <laughs> that's everybody's, what got, everybody's got the own, haven't they? That's, that's why they call me the seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look at scores. Some scores. Ron McCarthy's 3 1 up on Phil Harrison. Jack Whelan's 6 2 up on Jordan Shepherd. Uh, Darren Appleton's 9 1 up on Declan Brennan. Wow. Uh, Rob Chilton, Ben Davis is 4 4. Mike Farnsworth and Sam Bircher, that's 4 4. Scott Gillespie is 8 2 up on John Rowe. Wow, that's a shock. That's, Wait, I'm that's probably the shock one, I'd say. Where's, uh, where's Gareth Hibbert? Oh, 2 2, two, two with Carl Morris. So, yes, there are the scores from around the tables, lads. Now yeah, back up to the main table. And uh, he's just got to. Obviously, he's going to go up table now, I'm guessing. Just take this yellow heart up top. He needs to leave himself an angle. Obviously, he, he needs come to straight or not? Yeah, he's sound. He's all right there, but I'm just saying that when he comes back down, he needs to just give this black or this yellow just a little nudge. And they're just all tappings, then, aren't they? Really? Well, he's got, he's got to play one nudge. He's got to play one nudge. So as yeah. he kisses that, so as he kisses, 
look like this. This looks perfect. If, it's, if it pulls up, now he's gone too far. Uh, obviously, he's going to play it up next shot now. Or he's going to he's going to play a dark rail. Then I'm guessing just leave middle back and just roll into yellow. But in all, in all fairness, even if he misses that and he leaves that for top pocket with Lewis's cue in. Oh, I'll tell you, he's played wrong shot here. I know what he's played. He's played to go into black and yellow here, but he should have. And for he could, me, could get a black safe. Yeah, but this is a much tougher pot now, you know. So he's missed the pot. Yeah, he's missed it. That's he should have played it. Well, if he'd have got it, then yeah. But I mean, it won't perfect to be got it to be fair. But I'd have preferred to play it on front middle pocket and uh, just get a little nudge. But it's a much easier pot. Yeah. Eagle Eye's going to try and take these out. Now. <laughs> They're not easy. Do you know what I mean? But he's going to take this red off a. Uh, Right rail here. He's just going to get a little cannon. Oh, just missed, missed it. it. Missed it. So that just makes the finish a bit harder now. Uh, just having a gander around the table. Uh, all scores are updated for Washi and Mellon. I've actually got Mellon, so I'm, I'm, well, I went, obviously there's a Yorkshire left, so I wanted to go pretty deep. Uh, money making Lakin's back on at 6.30 if anybody wants to come support him or watch him. I think it's I expect the uh, I expect the Mr Gill factor will be on. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't turned out for him to be fair, so I'm not sure. I'm actually quite surprised he's not here, you know, Seb, really. He, to be honest, I don't think he'd be the case for Greg much these days. <laughs> don't seem to follow him, he's supposed to be his manager, he should be here, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and, well obviously uh, Mr Casey's saying he's not here but, and that's due to like family which is fair enough you know yeah can't make it can't make it big shout out to him oh 2-0 Washbrook against Mellon well wow yeah that'll just uh, be an absolute sickness that <laughs> oh hello that wow one, that was wide wasn't it Jason Shaw's missed yeah, that's uh, it. Um, you didn't expect him to miss that, did you? Yeah, it's quite surprising. It just shows you that. It, that. That just shows you the shot that he played on his first shot to move that red. Oh, oh no. wow, and Lewis has just missed. Oh. Yeah. That just shows you the top the top level, you know, a bit of pressure. Yeah. Definitely that, pressure. That, that's all it is. It's, it just comes down to pressure missing shots and like that. Just tensed. Uh, probably can't believe his luck going back to the table. And, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's, he's on it perfect, isn't he? He's just got to run. Lewis has got to get out of his head and just crack on, really. Look, Jay, Jay looks like he's playing on nine ball table with his Q in it. <laughs> Obviously, he's not played eight ball for quite a while, I should imagine. He does, he's just smashing them in, isn't he? <laughs> so, yeah, some of the shots like he's, he's like, oh, they're just going to drop in, you know what I mean? But yeah. It's got to be a little bit more precise on the. He's just having a little shake of his head to his Sunday, I think, and come on, zone in on chances like that. Lewis is, I'm guessing, is uh, just left the arena, gone for a comfort break. In, in all fairness, when Lewis was a uh, 6'4", uh, I did think, um, I thought um, he rattled Jason Shaw, really. Is that about him? Because, yeah. you know. He responded, to be fair, Jay. He, he responded really well. He did to respond to really well. He really well. Yeah. Time, did he? Nah. And Lewis has just missed two really good chances the last two frames. It, it, it really should be nine seven up. It could at worst be eight apiece. Uh, obviously nine seven down now. Jason's going to break him. his last break. He just controlled white bang it middle of the table. It was massive. Absolutely. So, what a break. Up Jason's just going for the comfort break himself. Oh, he's going to bar or something. And I think I think that's my cue to go to the toilet as well. Then <laughs> may as well while everybody else is going.
Oh, and Mr. Webb's back. Back in the... Back in the house. Back in the box. That's it, Louis. Just, Ooh. just say um big shout out to um Lewis's brother if he's watching, Ben Calcutt. Yeah, Ben Calcutt. I've seen him knocking about on Facebook. How you doing, buddy? Um yeah, your brother's playing really well, mate. In all fairness, it. he's just had been a lucky He's really. just been a bit sloppy like a couple of frames, hasn't he? He's just yeah. missed a couple of balls. Just a couple That's of balls, that was all. But um It could easily be nice ever up, but should be know, proud of him, mate. Listen, it's not over yet. He nah. still needs another two, do you know what I mean? It's never over till it's over. You've exactly. got to always believe. Definitely. Never stop believing. I mean, I mean, look at that game yesterday. 10-3 ten ten down. 10-3 ten down, Carl, I don't you? I said, I've seen it, I've been here many times, and I've seen players 10-2 down and come mm -hmm. back and win 11-10. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've seen it plenty of times, it does happen. In every sport, there's always massive major comebacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lewis just cracked me up. So they've had a break, and he's just come back with a sandwich. <laughs> Oh, is he? Has he? <laughs> just eating it right in the front. <laughs> Obviously, he's just it's another great bet from Jay White. Man, that oh, he's table again. He's uh, obviously that's feel... that's not been the best of breaks, you know. What he's had? Maybe he's a little bit lower uh, energy. Is that what you're thinking there? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> feeling a bit dehydrated, eh? <laughs> the Colombian coach coming back tonight. <laughs> I can feel it, honestly. Is that no comment on it's that? Do you know, also, it, it's not the best break in the world. It's not, that's what, that's what I just said, yeah. It's is, uh, obviously, you can't even think about taking yellows, because he can't pop one, so he's got to take reds. Definitely, yeah. Without if he's thinking game, he's, gonna, he's got to roll this in on the maybe carrot yellow, so he can get pop red off a bag. Yeah, like that. Uh, but it's just like no, a little bit I'll awkward, you, you know. It's, it's awkward that unless he leaves a double up next shot, maybe. I don't know if you can actually reach it to well, do all we want. Actually, looking at that, I'll probably... Maybe right-handed. I can't really see. You could leave double can't just screw you back and just leave you down there. He's, tr he's tried getting onto it, but he's not quite yeah, ready. It. So it's uh, not an easy finish, now by any means. I think Jay is pretty much just decided it's all out attack, no matter where the ball's landed it. Yeah. He's got no no intentions of playing safe whatsoever. I mean, like, where, where, as you said, like said, where he's queuing, it's just like he's like playing nine yeah. ball. So Obviously, that's his game, isn't it? Do you know what yeah. I mean? He's a, he's a nine ball player. That's what the money is, really, isn't it? Yeah. So, so if we could all play it, it'd be great. <laughs> but saying that, on Lewis's background, he, he's played nine ball in Latvia. He was Latvia yeah. Yeah. champion, so. In Latvia? In Latvia. Wow. Yeah. I bet money were absolutely fantastic over there. <laughs> yeah, money was great. <laughs> so he's got a tricky shot here, you know. I'm not sure how he's going to get position. Oh, he's playing a lovely shot there. Looking at angle, I thought he had too much angle to even. But he's not even that. Playing that shot was just. It was, he had to be so precise because he could have left no angle at the road. But it looks like he's just left. This, it is, this is just tapping, really. He's just got to out of position. Oh, yeah, to, it was just wrong side, but. Right, and this is this is this one. This is missing. Last frame, he, he missed something this similar, is. didn't he? He's got a really cute there. So. Yeah, he's, he's just put, look at that. He's got a longer. If you notice, Jason theory, Short, that's great shot. If you notice, theory, it, it it pulls a little bit further away from White as he was queuing it, where is uh, his hand is normally real close to White. But he, he just queued a little bit away from it to, to just to let him queue the ball in. So he took away that nine ball shot there. And he queued it in like a dream, to be fair. Lewis has got to get a couple of frames now. He's got to really... It's 10-7 and uh, obviously it's no miss pull, but you'd back Jason to break and dish some, one of his racks, wouldn't you? Yeah. So it's uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough now. Because obviously Jason's on the hill, so... Yeah. Lee Washbrook's 3 1 upon Chris Mellon. Uh, Jack Whelan 6 4 against Sheppy. Rona McCarthy's. Oh, Rob Chilton's 7 4 upon Ben Davis. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, I, quite, I quite fancied that, really. Chilton is still playing uh, he's, He just played really well against Tom Cousins, you know. He's some and player, to be fair. That surprised everyone, really, on the pool chat banner and everything. It did surprise me, I'll tell yeah. you. That, I told everybody. I, swear, I even spoke to Chilton. I says, "How can you be two to one against Tom Cousins? Please explain that to me." Yeah, and, and no disrespect. Was... Tom's a great player. Oh no! Uh, He's soured on the break. So yeah. Lewis has just gone off on off the break. Yeah, this one's done with. This this game is done with people on there. Uh, listen, yeah. 
This is pretty much done. It's a bad way to end the match, but he has played a great, a great match. He's missed a couple of chances at seven apiece. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a very good game. He's going to be gutted that he had to, because he could have he won this match if we'd been... Well, I'm not saying he could have won it, but he could have been 9-7-0. See you the poor gods just don't forgive you once you make that, that mistake. Uh, I think it should be about 11-9, 11-10, really. Could have been deciding for him. That's just Paul. I think... Uh, He's not going to miss these, is he? He's nah. just going to stun onto yellow rear. Absolutely perfect. Take this one down now, John. Come back up. The and other eagle, three. eagle Eye's going to be rolling on. And uh, when, we, when we're going to see Eagle Eye again, we're going to see him tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm not sure who's going to play yet. He's going to be the first one through, I think, Carter, this, uh, this session. Yeah, he is. Nobody else has won a match yet. That's because they're two quick players, you know, you just get on yeah, with it, really. Yeah, just get on with it, bash them bash yeah. about and get the balls in the holes. That's it, that's and, the uh, game. Eagle Eye. Darren Appleton's going to be short. I had, I could, oh, yeah, you'll see him at 10 o'clock against Adam Marlow or Matt Brearley. So it's another game that Jason's going to think, right, I'm winning this one. So all you people out there who are Jason outright, at this moment in time, you're going to be thinking pretty, pretty good about yourself. Yeah, I agree. You just gotta be careful with this one shot. Don't overscrew it. He's played it perfect. That 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 shot's just feel. all about feel, and he's uh, he's feeling that, pretty it? good. Oh Jesus Christ! Washbrook's fallen up a melon. I'm gonna give yourself a no right punching way. face, mate. I'll tell you that now. Oh my God! I think um, if he win, if Washy wins that. Then uh, he's going to get loads of money matches. But wow. he's like, okay. well, take listen, him on, Seb. Take him on. Listen, I'm signing out. Well done to Eagle Eye. 11 7 victory over Lewis Calcutt. I've been yeah. Seb Webb. You've been fantastic. Yeah. Unlucky there, Lewis Calcutt. Played well, mate. Bit of lucky on the break and everything. My name is Matty Hawkins, Seesaw. I'm signing out. See ya.